Good evening, Penny Pinchers. Hope everybody's doing good. Friday evening, November the 4th. Welcome back to the farm. Moving the cows over to a new paddock today. So I'm just going to be quiet. It's a little windy, but I just tell you what, it is it is peaceful out here. So I'm just going to be quiet for just a minute. And hopefully you guys can hear a little bit of what I'm hearing. The wind is up going through the trees. A lot of the leaves have come off the last last week or so. We did catch a little rain there to there last weekend. And I tell you what, it made a difference. Um, there ain't much, much growth happening probably, but you cannot tell things is greener. Uh, so that had to help things. And I tell you what, guys, it's still dry still dry here in eastern kentucky um, you can see we're we're about to the end of our grazing period on this side of the farm um, this particular paddock it gets better the higher up you go that that holla right there is it's pretty good it's got probably 10 12 inches of stockpile still standing on it uh, but we i'm thinking probably two more moves not counting this one, counting this one, probably three more moves around this side of the farm and that'll probably get us about as far as we can go. Uh, we'll probably have to move to the back, the back half of the farm and actually get on our stockpile. Uh, but these cows, they ain't much too interested in coming over today. I don't know if they're lazy or tired or liking where they're at or what the deal is. maybe but i tell you what guys it is as far as the temperature goes i tell you what it does not feel like november guys it's it's 70 degrees plus here today in eastern kentucky and i tell you what i don't know if we wouldn't have caught those first couple killing frost we would have probably still been growing grass um we like i say we probably had one or two i mean hard frost Woo! come up and other than that, guys, it's been warm. I mean, they're giving deer season, rifle season here in Kentucky starts next weekend. And they're giving it uh, to be in the 60s every day, guys. So that's going to be weird. I don't know how that's going to do the effect with the deer movement or not. But, hey, it's, it's been a nice, nice fall, guys. I mean, it really has. All in all, you can't complain about the weather we've had. Woo! Come up! Here we go. Here's some of our first girls coming in. Tell you what, guys, they're looking pretty good. Right there's one of the cows I was talking back a few videos about being just a different type of genetics. Got some kind of milk stock in her. Uh, just kind of like bony. They're fat, but they're bony. You can see them. You can see their bones. There you go. Tell you what, that heifer right there is getting big. I believe she did get bred. I believe she did get bred. She is looking good. Guys, that's 100% grass right there, guys. That's 100% grass heifer right there, guys. That's what makes it even better. 100% grass, guys. That You talk about, if she can have her a calf, you talk about worth a fortune. A little animal, that's her mommy right there. That cow, calf right there is two, going on two year old. And if she can have a, a calf for us in her second year of life, man alive, guys, what more do you want? And she's fat. I mean, she ain't no, she'll get a little wider, maybe just a touch longer. You can see her mommy right there. She might weigh 900 pounds. But guys, that's exactly what we're talking about as far as frame size. Small cows, guys. Don't get them big cows. If you got big cows and big bulls, guys, you're going to have big calves. You're going to have big replacement heifers. It takes a lot of money. Think of it as a big diesel truck compared to a, a Toyota Tacoma. 
has a whole lot more maintenance in that big diesel than they are that Toyota, guys. So that's that's how we kind of think of it, try to simplify it here at Penny Pincher Farm. We don't want the diesel trucks, we want the Tacomas. <laughs> Tired speaking of a little Tacoma, he's doing good. But guys, let me tell on myself. You see that right there, and you go by very many farms all over the United States, you will see that right there. And you see it so much you don't think about it but guys that right there is a bad bad thing and i know i know um i'm not practicing what i'm preaching but i i just tell it like it is we got slack and didn't fence the cows out of the pond that right there is there's nothing good about what that cow is doing right now your cows do not need to be in the ponds Guys, it mucks the water up, they're drinking, the quality of the water goes down, and they're tearing the rim of your pond up. Let me, while we're telling on ourselves, let me just show you what I'm talking about right here. Look at that, guys, right there. How bad and muddy and ugly. Guys, they just ain't nothing good about it. They just ain't nothing good about it. So right here, I've said it before, right here would be a perfect place for a rock skirt of Greg Judy's. A perfect spot you could run we could run rock about out into there have all this in rock that way they could stand there and drink in crystal clear water get out of there girl you're making me look bad <laughs> normally guys we do fence the ponds out to where they just have a minimal access point and we're going to have a minimal access point when we get these cows run through we're just going to drape the wire over the corner of the pond that way they only have enough room to to stick their head in you see how that cow just climbed out of there that's how they tear it up guys that's how they tear it up them cows when they put it in four wheel drive coming up out of these ponds guys they just tear it all two pieces and it's not good on the pond it's not good for the cows it's not good on your pocketbook so just telling on ourselves telling it like it is avoid that every chance you get and you will be rewarded for it. Got some late bloomers coming in here. That baldy calf right there is that cow's baby. You, you take that cow right there to the sale barn and she'll bring the least amount of money every time. But I tell you what, if she could raise a little baby like that right there, she's, she's worth the most expensive thing at the sale barn. So that's the kind of thing we look for, guys. Here's dad, well, here's you a good size comparison. Me and Dad, we ain't uh, very big humans. <laughs> We're about five, six on a good day. So, guys, I mean, you, you hear it, Greg Judy talk about the South Poles. That's about the size of them right there. I mean, that cow might weigh 800 pounds. It's a small cow. And I'll tell you what, I'd take, I'd take 10 of those and make more money than I would with 20, 1,500 pounders. It just is what it is, guys. They're, they're Tacomas. They're Tacomas, they're not the diesels. That's what we want here at Penny Pincher Farm. But guys, we're gonna get off here. Quick move today, we're done. We already had everything set up. So we're done for the day. Enjoying the warm weather here in Eastern Kentucky. Looking forward to deer season. Uh, but grazing up what's left of this uh, uh, grass that we got on this side of the farm and probably here in the next four to five weeks, we'll probably officially be moving over on the winter stockpile that's been growing since august so guys have a great weekend enjoy this beautiful weather if you got it at wherever you're watching from uh, this is penny pitcher farm we're gonna let the grass grow and give god all the glory <laughs>